you have trillions of bacteria living inside your body right now. Now these trillions of bacteria that are interacting with your cells and living out their lives inside your gut, it's totally natural to have them. It can be quite harmful if they were to disappear tomorrow. But sometimes these bacteria get into places they're not supposed to be. And when that happens, it causes disease. These diseases are treated by a kind of medication called antibiotics. Since the 1940s, we've used antibiotics not to treat us for regular kind of illnesses that you might think of, like pneumonia, but it's also allowed us to develop things like chemotherapy and preventative care for premature babies. Without antibiotics, modern medicine simply would fall apart. And this is the situation that we're starting to fall into now. Antibiotics are becoming less and less effective and bacteria are becoming more and more resistant to them. Bacteria are evolving so that they're no longer affected by antibiotics. We put together this exhibition about antibiotic resistance because this is an issue that kills about 700,000 people globally every year. By the year 2050, we're expecting that number to get up to 10 million, overtaking cancer as a cause of death. We need to act now in order to save medicine for the future. In 1928, Alexander Fleming revolutionized medicine when he noticed that a mold in his lab called penicillium was killing off bacteria. This mold was giving off a chemical that he then named penicillin, that then could be distilled down into a medicine and treat bacterial infections in people. We've taken some of that historic penicillium mold and regrown it here for the Science Museum. We have it here on display to see a little bit of history. Since the discovery of penicillin, we've found 26 other antibiotics that can be used in people that can dramatically change lives. But we haven't had a new antibiotic since 1987. As bacteria evolve, we're losing vital medicines for human health, and we're being forced to find alternative ways to fight these bacteria. One of these alternatives is rethinking healthcare. Hospitals, by definition, are full of sick people. These are people that may have bacterial infections. So by preventing cross-infection, by preventing bacteria transferring from one patient to another, hospitals can reduce how many antibiotics they actually need, and in turn how much they use to prevent bacteria from developing resistance. Here in England, about 10% of all antibiotic prescriptions are unnecessary. This number is so high because patients might be pressuring their doctors into be giving out antibiotic prescriptions, but also because doctors might be giving out antibiotics as a precaution, not knowing 100% what the patient might have. So this precautionary measure dramatically increases how much antibiotics are being given out and used. Almost half of antibiotics are used on animals instead of on people. This allows animals to grow faster and fatter, and also allows them to be kept in conditions that might be more cramped. This is also an issue for antibiotic resistance because it introduces antibiotics into the environment, which gives bacteria in the environment an opportunity to adapt and evolve resistance. Once these bacteria have this resistance, they can then spread it to other bacteria, and other bacteria, and other bacteria, and eventually making their way into our bodies. This means that when we pick up bacterial infections, they may no longer be treated. One way to prevent antibiotic resistance is to reduce how much antibiotics we're using, but another way is to find new antibiotics. Researchers around the world are going out and exploring how nature naturally fights against bacterial infections. They're studying animals, fungi, and even other bacteria to see how they fight each other and potentially turn that into new medicines. We haven't had a new antibiotic since 1987. Researchers at the University of East Anglia are taking entire colonies of leafcutter ants, bringing them to England, and studying them at their laboratories in Norwich. There, they're studying how the leafcutter ants interact with a fungus that in turn interacts with a species of bacterium called Streptomyces, which they then use as an antibiotic. Studying relationships like these could be the key to finding a new antibiotic, which we desperately need for the future. Researchers at the University of Illinois are exploring more and more remote locations, looking for new species of bacteria. In Iceland, they're collecting samples from the bottom of the ocean, from volcanic vents, and from swamps. They're hoping these new species of bacteria could hold a key to a new medicine to be used in people. Since the dawn of humanity, we've been locked in a war with bacteria. They kill millions of us, we kill trillions of them. 
And for the last century, we've had the upper hand in this war. We've had this incredible weapon called antibiotics. But now, as antibiotics are becoming more and more obsolete, we need to find new options to treat bacterial infections. We need to act now in order to save medicine for the future. Time is running out.